Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be on how I prep my wigs for wear. One of the ways actually I prep my wigs for wear. This wig I purchased is from Elva Hair Company off of AliExpress. Now um, I have already opened this wig but it was just together for video purposes. So within this box, excuse my nail, I think I'll show you at some point. <laughs> um, within this box is my bob wig that I purchased I believe 10 inches and it comes with an elastic band which I didn't use but I say for future use and wig caps you can always do with some wig caps um, the wallet that it came in and I like to keep these to store old wigs in uh, when I'm no longer wearing them and then I think I show you the wig and this is a pre-plucked, this was a pre-plucked wig. I'm just showing you that and showing you the hair. The hair was nice and soft. And showing you that it came pre-plucked. And I didn't bother going and pluck it some more. It, yeah, guys, I was being lazy, but that's the wig. It also came with a booklet, like a how-to, I think how to maintain it. And uh, I, think, I think it shows you how to attach the elastic band and things like that. Uh, the wig has some combs in it, which I never grip into my hair. I usually actually um, cut them out and uh, it comes with its own elastic band at the back, adjustable strap. And that's me showing you there. So this is me now showing you the maintenance booklet. Um, kind of like a how-to kind of thing and they also provide a dear customer letter and in the box is the net that the wig originally came in so this is me showing you the lace against my skin tone it's a little light so I will attempt to uh, tint it and um, I will do that by having a hot uh, boiling hot water in a bowl um, and go in with the darkest brown hair dye from Adore and also Sienna Brown I used and mix that all up. So this is me testing the lace out, uh, testing the tone of the colour that I've mixed and then testing it against my skin and it is a bit dark but I really should have left it like this because me washing it out it would have become lighter but instead I ended more, I added, Charlene speak, I added more sienna brown, uh, mixed that up and then just put my wig in there, I'm just over it, so I just put my wig in there. And I left the wig in there for about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, should have left it a little longer. But it is what it is, okay? So yeah, I left that in there for 20 minutes and done whatever I had to do at this time. So I washed the hair out using my Castile Peppermint Soap from Dr. Bronner, if you remember that from my eBay haul. I then deep conditioned with the silicone mix, which I'll show somewhere in this part of the video. Uh, I left that for 30 minutes, I believe, and washed that out. Uh, guys, please do not cuss me about this wig head. She has been through a lot, we already know this. Um, I do plan to do a makeover video for her at some point. I go in with heat protectant, I don't remember what brand this is, and that's the amount I put, and that distributed through the hair.
So as I said, I'm showing you one of the ways I prep my wigs. So I'm using the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs uh, Tanning Spray in the colour Deep Glow. Um, so this is the more lazy way I prep my wigs without bleaching and lots of things like that. So um, I'm just going over the knots with this tanning spray. Um, and yeah, because I just wanted it done. I wanted to hurry up and I couldn't be bothered to do the whole bleaching knots process and uh, tinting the lace and all that jazz. So here I have used Got To Be Glue to semi stick this down while I cut off the flaps and the lace um, at the front. Uh, got to be glued is what I primarily use for my uh, wigs to glue them down. Uh, the spray is mainly for my everyday use, like going to work and things like that. If I'm going out to an event or something like that, then I will use both and do the whole uh, blow dryer, do all that extra stuff. Um, and if I want to be extra, extra, then um, I do have ghost bond glue, but I've only used that twice. Um, it's got to be glue I reach for. guys I have got a new laptop and a new camera so the sounding of the mic may be a little different a little weird I don't know um, and also while editing this I've realized that I lost my straightening footage um, but I used my Remington wide plate and also my curling one which I think is Remington also I will find it and link it down below So guys, this is the hair, um, this is Bob the Bob wig from Elva Hair Company, <laughs> okay, let's get it right. Um, I believe I got the 10 inch, why do I always do this? Let's do things correct Charlene, be organised, be organised for the channel Charlene. Okay, so let's go to my orders. Yes, so 150 density, okay, which is quite quite thin. I could have done with it thicker, but I'm cool with this. It's, it's cool. So um, 150 density and 10 inches. And it's squeeze. Um, and it is a pre pluck I didn't go in and pluck it more, but it is semi pre plucked already. But this is how I will be wearing it. If I feel to change it and do a side part, then I will in the future. But um, I'm loving this. I was actually um, looking at this, I was thinking, I should have saved this for my birthday. But I'm going to end up having long hair for my birthday. But yeah. So this is the wig. This is in the natural colour, which is like a 1B. Um, and what I was going to tell you, the lace is the, not the lace, the frontal is a 13 by 6 um and yeah other wigs i don't know what else to tell you i will put the link to the uh wig in the bottom bar and um, i did purchase this um with my own money and i spent 57 pounds 73 pence um yeah and from aliexpress obviously well it's not obvious but kind of sort of um so yeah this is the wig so as you saw in the video um i didn't bleach the knots i um, put the airbrushed in deep deep glow um on the inside i did tint it a little bit um this is what it is um i will go in like on the edges and stuff with some powder on some days because obviously it's not like perfect 
um i don't see me taking it off for now i feel like for the next couple of days i'm just gonna tie my scarf around it what scarf i'm just gonna tie my satin strip and go to bed um and re-spray any little parts that raise up um in the morning to go to work uh, is there anything else? I straightened the hair, I blow dried the hair out as you saw and then I straightened it with my Remington. Um, all the hair products that I used in the video, I will find a link and put it down below. Um, the links, yeah, so the link to the products, the link to the hair, um, I'll show you how I done it. What else do you want to know? Any questions, put it in a link below and I will see you in the next video. Actually, wait. Just want to shout out a YouTube channel, the McKendersons, okay? That's my family. Their, the link to their channel will be down below, so subscribe to them. Thank you. Bye.